uh, we'll just show you the difference between uh, a true or as close to a true barefoot experience as you can get with the right footwear. And so we're not saying barbers are bad footwear, but it can do some improvements and we made the improvements and we're gonna show you the difference. So the first thing is putting one on. So as you notice in this one here, uh, I can pretty much get my toes lined up very easily. I may have to work with this one a little bit, but pretty much I can slide them on uh, without anything else. And then you hook them on. So that's that one. Now the non-modified one, we'll try to put it on the same way. Um, and getting the toes lined up is really a difficult experience. So with this one here, I actually have to line up the toes into the proper so and then after that it's the same uh, so now one of the things you'll see is one of the differences we'll check out is this here is the spread of the toes versus the spread of the toes and the uplift ability to dorsiflex and spread the toes out. And now this is, my, my left leg is really my major leg that I use for movement. This is my stabilizing leg. So, uh, and when I take these off, I'll show you the difference too again between this to do this here. But this here and the ability to go here versus this here. And that's, as you notice that once it goes up, it wants to force the toes down. This here, toes stay up. This here, toes want to go down. That's a big deal when we try to perform because the toes is the last thing I really want to touch. Once my toes touch, that's going to lift my foot off the ground. So if I'm in a performance thing um, and I'm trying to get pressure through the ball of the foot, at that point in time, I'm losing the ability to apply pressure downward to apply pressure to me. So as soon as my toes touch, then I want to, and this also causes strains on the calf and Achilles. So, even though, you know, these are pretty good, there's still some things with them that affect the condition.